Well, a worship experience unlike any other. The latest in laser technology and Christian music come together in the exhibit titled All Creation Sings. Wendy Griffith brings us the dynamic sights and sounds from the Museum of the Bible. Welcome to the Museum of the Bible's latest feature, All Creation Sings, inspired by Psalm 148, which declares, let them praise the name of the Lord. It's a 45-minute experience posing the question, what is worship? When somebody says worship to me, my mind immediately goes to the thing that uh, we do at church on Sundays before the pastor gets up and gives the sermon. And indeed, that is worship. Um, but as the Bible talks about worship, it's so much more than that. So the story is the story of the Bible and it's taking you from creation or Genesis all the way to Revelation. Using the latest light detection and 3D laser technology, you can literally interact with the walls. Suddenly, I'm, I'm a little kid again and I could go and create and paint on the walls um, at the beginning and at the end uh, of this story. The Museum of the Bible teamed up with a group called Creator to feature some of Christian music's biggest names for this project. Jackie Hill Perry and Tasha Cops Leonard and Brandon Lake, Carrie Job, Cody Carnes, Phil Wickham, Brooke Liggertwood, Chris Tomlin. It is the who's who uh, that have come together to create this organization called Creator, lending their voice to this before you go into the experience, really setting up the experience so that um, your heart and your mind is prepared to talk about worship and what it is and who deems it worthy. All Creation Sings is not so much an exhibit as an experience. It takes guests on a journey through four acts, immersing them in a worship adventure that can only be described as heavenly. Mother and daughter, Madison and Laura DeMichael from Ohio, were enthralled. To see the Word of God come alive in front of me and just to be a part of that cacophony of praise, like they said in the beginning, it is a continual praise that is echoing to our Lord and our Savior beyond a shadow of a doubt. It was an experience by far. It was incredible. I've never seen anything like it, like all the colors, all of the sounds. This has got to be a little foretaste of what heaven. Oh. oh, absolutely, absolutely. To just be a part of it, to hear it surrounding you. Mm -hmm. It makes me excited to see what heaven will be like. Yeah. Like, I'm, super, I'm super excited. But not yet. Not, not yet, no, no, not no, yet, no, no, not yet. Like Sixth graders from Our Lady of Victory School in Washington, D.C. appeared captivated by the experience. I thought it was really cool how it was interactive. I've been to an interactive thing like that before, but not all around and like with the screens and the projectors and everything. It was amazing. I think it was amazing and it was kind of out of this world. Um, I thought it was going to be like virtual reality. So this was pretty cool and it was kind of like that. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was probably the running around and touching the walls. It was so awesome. Like there was all the colors and all the lights and the sounds. It was one of the most amazing things I've been to so far in my life. I thought it was fantastic actually um like the there was like all these colors and like the, like the animation and i just really loved it for their teacher jenna drummond it helped bring the old testament story she's been teaching her students to life going back to what we've been talking about all year um i teach religion for sixth grade which is old testament so the creation story how we continue that in our daily lives and how we continue to pay that forward in dc and for the bible museum it's a way to focus guests on our original purpose as children of God. Worship is our purpose. That's what we're created for, right? So God created us and, you know, he, he created our universe to see the, the greatness of our creation, the greatness of God's design in our existence. It uh, takes you to kind of a, a humble, really reflective place. Right? And I think that's always a good starting point to kind of find your, your space in the context of, of, of our existence, of this world. And I think that's specifically attractive for people who don't have a faith background, right? Because it kind of gives them a new North Star kind of to understand. So what on earth am I here for? Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Washington. 
Well, congratulations to the Green family, to Museum yeah. of the Bible, to Carlos Campo, their, mm -hmm. their new president. What a wonderful exhibit. Yeah. And it just, you know, they keep pushing the envelope yeah. into new experiences. Yeah, absolutely. As I was watching that, I was reminded about, you know, the beauty of having a childlike faith. And I love that the, you know, the meaning and the mission behind this exhibit is to remind us that we are children of God. And I think, you know, when you're in the faith for years, you know, 30, 40 plus years you're getting older you can kind of forget that childlike playfulness getting older. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm getting older too I am okay. so but I think it's just such a beautiful reminder let's go back to our first love we are children yeah. of the most high uh, one of the keys to maintaining creativity is to follow two-year-olds or, or uh, around a room and as they experience things new realize yeah. that you can do it too yes. you, you can have that same childlike experience mm -hmm. uh, the thing that that piece reminded me of is what, what Jesus said that mm -hmm. there's a time coming where we'll worship in spirit and mm. in truth and you Amen. when you can have an immersive environment like that I just wonder at what point our local church is going to get the same technology mm. and are we going hey. to change worship experience for churches every Sunday morning wow that would be that would be awesome yeah that'd be cool